Hey guys, uh, in my last video I talked about labels. In this video I'm going to explore entries. So let's go ahead and create a page called as entries. This is the same project that I used for uh, last video. And I'm going to create a page called as entries here in the same project. And I will go ahead and make sure that this page is the startup page. Awesome. So to add text boxes, the tag is entry tag. And uh, you just add the tag and that's how you can just add a text box here. In my last video, I did not talk about um, how you can access your uh, controls in code behind. To do that, you have to first name your control. I'm going to name my control here as um, entry app name. And then you can just go and code behind and try to access that control. Entry app name. And I'm going to set the text as curious drop. And when I run this app, it should show one text box with uh, with the text curious drive when I run the app. Cool, there you go. It shows one text box and the text is curious drive. Okay, so let's explore other properties of entries here. Um, what else you can do with entries? In entries, you can have just a simple text. Um, I'm gonna call it that this is an entry. Uh, you can also have a read only entry. Um, for that, you'll have to set read only as true. You can also set uh, an entry with max length. You cannot have more characters, more than 10. This is what I'm going to set. You can also have placeholders. That is useful when you are trying to maybe enter a username, password. So I'm going to set the placeholder property as okay we won't use a name here uh, you can also set the placeholder color I'm gonna set it as all of here and uh, uh, you can also have password field where I'm gonna name my placeholder here as password and set as password property to true um, and last thing that I want to talk about is the return type. You can set the return type to uh, the type of your uh, entry. And it, depending on what kind of your what kind of entry you have, you can set it up as send, search, go, next. I'm gonna set it as search so that I can show you what I'm talking about. All right, let's just run this app and see the effects of the changes that we have made on this page. So the first text is the same text that we set the text from code behind. The second is normal text entry. The third is read only. See, we cannot enter anything here. Fourth is where we set uh, the max length. So you cannot enter more than 10 characters here. Uh, fifth was our placeholder where we set the username as placeholder. Uh, sixth is the password. So when I type, um, it changes into password. And you can see here for password, there is no return type. So at the right bottom corner of the keyboard, it says a tech mark here. And when I jump to the return type, uh, where I said the return type search, the uh, the keyboard the bottom right corner of the keyboard shows uh, the search button so yeah that's that's the difference between uh, if you set return type nothing to other entries then it's gonna have tick mark but you can customize your entries by the type of your uh, type of your entry all right another thing that I wanted to talk about is uh, the events that we have on uh, entries. The first event I want to talk about is uh, completed. Uh, this event gets thrown when uh, when you complete the entry. 
to check that, let's just have a label. Um, I'm going to name my label as label completed so that I can show you when this event gets thrown and to see it bigger, I'm going to set it as large. And uh, the other event I want to talk about is text change. Um, so let's just change this event as event to text, text change. And I'm going to throw that as um, entry text changed. Um, and I'm going to change the name of the label to entry text changed old value and a new value label. Cool. So um, when we go uh, in code behind, you can see that there are two events which are created for the entries that we created. This is completed event and this is entry text changed event. So let's just go ahead and set our labels label completed when uh, so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to set label completed when the text box event is completed so to access the um, to access the text box what we have to do is get it from here from sender and I'm gonna get the text from here cool so when the text box, when you complete your entry, then the label should set whatever you have completed to. And um, I'm going to try and, uh, for entry text change, I'm going to try and set the old value uh, label to e dot old value. This is the event which we are coming from, text change event argument. Um, no, I think it will be good. Uh, label text changed new value text to e dot new value awesome let's run this app and see what what all changes we have made awesome so when I type haha -ha here then uh, you can see that the label has not changed anything. There is nothing has changed. Uh, but when I click on the stick mark here on the right bottom corner, then the label changes to haha. So that's when the event gets triggered. But for the text entry text changed event, when I uh, type edge here and go back, you can see the new value has set to edge and the old value is still blank. I'm gonna then try a here and go back then you can see that the old value is edge and the new value is ha. So that's how that's what the difference is between entry completed and entry changed. So yeah that's all about entries. In my next video I'm going to talk about buttons. Uh, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching the video. Bye.